is all. Fanny here for Capricorn's Daily Oracle Message. Oh my. Well, they gracefully slid off my lap instead of falling with force and gusto. Okay, so Capricorn, our first message today is reframe. This is happening for me and not to me. Please remember that rejection is divine protection. Sometimes things don't go in the way that our ego self wants it to because it simply does not serve us in the greatest and highest good. Divine love. When you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin, begin a love affair with spirit. Self-love. Let, let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child. I belong. I long for, I long to take care of myself like never before. Aw, that's beautiful. So the inner child in reference of shadow work is literally that, our child self, the child aspects of ourselves, who we were as a child. Childlike wonder and curiosity that we still hold within ourselves, but is often destroyed as we get older. If you were someone that went through trauma as a child, emotional upset, upheaval, divorce, anything that disrupted your sense of stability, balance, foundation, home, security, which I feel like everyone goes through these days. Spirit wants you to come back to a sense of self-love and divine love because they have always and will always hold you in their hearts. Signs. Instincts are the message from the inner divine. Yes, especially your solar plexus chakra down here. That is literally where your instincts and your intuition comes through. That is your direct connection to your higher self. And so they use signs, symbols, and synchronicities to speak to you because spirit cannot speak in the same way that you and I speak on this mundane realm. They have to use these things to talk to you because their voice is different, because they speak on a different level. And so look at repeating numbers, songs that randomly come on over your radio or your Spotify, a thought that pops into your head of a person or idea that you haven't done or thought of in years. This is how spirit speaks to you. This is how spirit connects you. And when you come back to a place of self-love and you're not victimizing yourself, you're not saying that the entire world is against me, the entire world wants to destroy me, this is happening for me, not to me. And having that mindset of what's the best that could happen out of this situation will bring you to a very high vibrational place of love. And you can A, heal what has been hurt, and B, create more abundant blessings in your life because you're not being in that low vibrational lack mentality. You're in a high vibrational mentality and energy of abundance, and that is where we want to be. No, we cannot always be there. There will always be things that disrupt us, that pull us down, that make us feel bleh. But that's part of life. And making the conscious choices with your time and energy to focus more on positive than negative things will create a, gra a drastic but gradual change throughout your life. So Capricorn, don't be afraid to love. Don't be afraid to trust. But make sure that your sense of love and your sense of value is not coming from someone else. It has to come from yourself first. And I am saying this as someone who has struggled with self-love and self-validation for years. It has to come from yourself first so that you can be steady and founded with a strong foundation to accept love from someone else without thinking there's a caveat, without thinking that there's a condition. Because that's not healthy. Love is unconditional. Spirit's love is unconditional. And pouring that all into yourself first makes you a radiant, beautiful being that is able to accept and receive more love and share more love. And that's what we need in this world is people of love. So Capricorn... I am so proud of you and everything that you've done in healing your inner child and healing the hurt that has blocked your heart and your energy. You are doing an amazing gift, not only to yourself, but the greater collective. And I am so proud of you.